Recording in progress. We need a miracle for all love. We need a Okay. Amen. That's what y'all practiced and came up with. That's what practice did for y'all. Uh, y'all don't ever need to practice again if that's what it did for y'all. You, you can stand. Y'all practicing for a sound like that. I told y'all that's not going to work in Jacksonville. Hey Amen. You sign it up for a bonus. Hey Amen. How it was scrap. They played it like it wasn't scrap. And yield, 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 yield. Robert. You all want record deals, but you're not going to get one until you're faithful here. <laughs> Yeah. Only time you can really perform is in a big crowd, but you can't do Wednesday night Bible class. Shame on you. Yeah. somebody say something come on somebody say something yeah I'm not I'm not oh, no 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 I'm not scared no more Linda Wilson uh-huh uh-huh because I'm uh, listen if I'm a Jezebel uh, I'm God's kind then I done got confused uh, and I'm preaching what God told me to preach he said don't back up from these people don't back up no more uh, hold on my you want to say something on my page I'm gonna say something back uh, that's right uh, that's right uh, because you're blind that's why you can't see uh, because if you was really of God uh, you wouldn't even challenge me on this page uh, the Bible said if you offended uh, you come to me by myself uh, so I rebuke you in the name of Jesus uh, somebody come on give God a praise uh, come on bring it bring it bring it bring it bring it bring it because you got the right one oh somebody give him a praise right now somebody give him a praise right now Next, which one of y'all want to say something? Hold on about Kasaya. Because when I go to your page, you're doing nothing for God. When I go to your page, you are a nobody. When I go to your page, you have no works of the kingdom. Honorable Hosha, when I go to your page, you have no manifestations of the glory of God. This is your biggest platform. Take your shot, because I shall not stop. Kota da bahasa ta ya mahaya, yera da bahosa ya. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 I used to. Yeah, I used to get shook by stuff like that. I'm not hearing y'all when I was full of my will. Y'all ain't saying nothing when I was the people's prophet. Now that I'm God's prophet, the Bible said he would bless with persecution. So you just informed me I'm on the right track. Hey, Yabo Hosaya, I'm supposed to be persecuted. I'm supposed to be lied on. Because everybody that's blind, they're supposed to misjudge what they see. Come on here, somebody. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. So where is your following? Since you got so much to say, where is your following up. When was the last time somebody got out of a wheelchair with you, Linda Wilson? When was the last time a blinded eye were open with you? I'm not hearing y'all. When was the last time cancer dropped out of somebody's body? When was the last time you raised the dead? Because I have, I have in the power of God. Where is your works? Why you got so many words? Oh my my Y'all go and look her up, look her up, look her up. Go to Linda Wilson's page and look her up and see that am I right as a prophet? I don't want y'all to be shook at nobody to come to this page. Listen, I survived CNN, lady. I survived NBC and ABC and CBS. I survived every network from around the world. My face is on every newspaper all over the world. You're too small to shake me. Hold on, my I was on TMZ, the only Christian in the history of the world. My name is in the encyclopedia. I'm number three in history. According to the internet, I have already made history. So this right here is just the will of God. Excuse me, but you're a little late. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I speak it to every prophet that is on this page. You will not back up anymore when people come out of their face about you. You will not shake anymore. How do I Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know, know what to do. Share the broadcast. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, thank you, God. Mm hmm. I'm so good. I'm ready to pray. Oh, yes. Ah! Yeah, no, 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 no. 48 minutes of prayer. Hey, hey. Hey! There's something about them Hawkins! Oh, yes! Ha ha ha! Yes, sir. Something about them Hawkins. Yes, they'll bring the spirit right mm. here. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, Come out of here. Listen. Spirit, come out of that dog. Listen. Oh, yeah. Pray to him. Pray. Father, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you, God. We thank you for you just being you. We thank you, God. Because you're all the man we need. God, we thank you. Thank you, God. Because you reach down with your strong hand. And you touch my soul. God, I thank you. <laughs> I thank you because you consistently touch me. Anyway, you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Oh, the power yes, God. that you have bestowed upon me. That's all right. Be full. That's all right. There's power here tonight. There's power here tonight. There's power here tonight. What are those going up there? What is the, the color for them? Oh, that's hearts. They're giving us love, mother. What is that? They dude? love it. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, this is love of God. This is good music here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah
Yes, Lord. Woo. No, 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 that's good singing. Oh, yes. Yeah, that was before these little kids. Mm. The, the, the little Marys and, oh, yeah. and, 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 and the Jonathan mm, McDonald got into it. Yeah. This yeah. is music here. Mm -hmm. Before that old fast Lexi tried to do Ooh. some music. This is the music here. Yeah. Da -da -da -na 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 something about them hawkins. Yes, sir. He's that kind of what? Friend. He's that kind of friend. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> Sing to him. <laughs> He's your soprano. No. <laughs> Rima word, 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 but Twan promised me that if I was on here for yes. how many minutes? 48 minutes of prayer. Why 48? 48 minutes, mother. Why did you pick? That's an odd number. It's strange. Yes. 99 and a half just won't do. We're going 48 on. 48 hours. We're going two days. I don't. Oh, bullshit. Oh, bullshit. 48 hours. 40, what is oh, it? Oh, bullshit. 48 minutes of prayer, mother. All right. No, it, it, we're going to do, because we can't do two days. We wanted to do Two days worth, that's 48 hours. Why would we do two days? We, a shut in. Oh. Shut in. Okay, a shut in is usually 24 hours. We don't do it. Yeah, we wanted to two do it days. two days. Somebody, too long. Somebody really needed it. Okay. To All tear right. it there. All right, well, let's get on with it. Hmm. My our, our mother doesn't like to be up too long. Hallelujah. Praise God. All right. Hmm. All right, so what do you have me do? What's All going on? All right. Well, Y'all got some prayer requests? Oh my God. Pray for Kanye West. Who is that? Kanye West is a little wayward soul. He's a little wayward soul. He think he just Jesus. Oh. Yeah, he, he needs to pray because he think he Jesus. Why would, why, why, all right. Mm. We, need, we need to pray for him. God, right down God, the name of Jesus. God, right down the name of Jesus. Oh, 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 yes. We call on your name right now, God. Call on your name, God. God, every wayward mm, soul that's wayward watching right now, soul that's watching. we ask that you put your strong oh, hand on them. Yes, strong hand. Oh, I'm picking up something. Ooh, picking up. Oh, up. Mm. He likes strange names. Oh, strange names. He likes to name children by yes. strange names. Prophesy, mother. Prophesy. Oh, God, clear his mind, God, whoa, 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 whoa. of these strange names. Clear his mind. Yeah. 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 He likes to do things like nursery oh, rhymes oh, or nurse, something. Yes, I don't nursery I'm rhymes. picking it up. I don't yes, know. You are in the spirit. Mm. Yes, God downloads things to me. Oh, God. <laughs> Touch him right now, God. Touch him now. God, I'm on the baby. Keep doing that. Oh, yes, God. All right. Next. Who's next? Yes, God. Next. Who else should we pray for? Oh. Oh. Somebody said pray for their new job. Well, you'd have a new job, baby, if you put on the right clothes. Oh. God just told me that you come into a job interview and your skirt is too tight. Amen. And you have your cleavage out then. And you would have got the job. Amen. Put the things up. Yes, God. You would have got the job, but you was too fast. And you tried to you tried to get it based on what the Lord gave you. Where you going? Yes, God. Oh, God. Ooh, I see Donald Trump. Well, Donald Trump is going to hell. Ooh, so. he's going to hell. No need all for, the way. to pray about that. Mm -mm. He's done. He's done. There's going nothing ahead. I can do about that. Bye-bye, That's bye, already, been, it's already been established. Yeah, That's already much. done. Cover up! Ha! 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 Hillary Clinton has already been blessed. Yes. Mm. Oh, your crazy uncle. Oh, 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 oh. Come, come out of there, you confused demon. Come, come out of that uncle come right now. Come on, uncle. Come out of there. You're defeated, you lunatic demon. Yes. Yes. Come out of there. Huh? 
That's done. Mm. Next. 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 Do remind it of my shit. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, God. Dr. Malachi Love. Oh, mm -mm. Beyonce. Touch not. Let me tell you something. Beyonce, put some clothes on. Oh. Nah, I saw you. Come on, baby. What was that little football game? That yes, she the Super Bowl. Yes. All the men's running around. Put some type of clothes on. In Get the name. I don't mind you. <laughs> Get in formation with the man. <laughs> formation. I am on the shoulder. Oh my God. You almost failed. God showed me that you almost failed. That am I. He took his spirit from yeah. you because you didn't have no clothes Ooh. on. And you almost failed, Beyonce. Yeah. God said next time, next time you will fall. You will. God said next time yeah. you will fall. Down on your God knees. said next time <laughs> you will fall. Yeah. Down, down on my, my knees. <laughs> into a video that was supposed to be about Dr. Stevenson. I did not understand it at first. Uh, as a matter of fact, i tell you how mad I was. I was out at dinner at Red Lobster, my favorite restaurant, because Endless Shrimp is back. So I was at dinner when I started getting text messages and phone calls. But of course, I wasn't going to answer because I felt like Red Lobster needed all of my time and attention. And so when I came in later that evening, I spoke with one of the young women who I disciple. And I said, listen, what are you talking about, Larry Reed? This? You know I don't follow this, man. You know, I don't agree with this platform. It's not for me. It's not the diet. It's not the food that I choose to ingest. So I said, you know, stop calling me and texting me about what this man said. I don't care. And she said, no, Pastor Linda, he's talking about you tonight. Uh, he mentioned your book, and now he's talking about you. He said that you were openly gay. And I immediately, I mean, I hit 100. I mean, literally. Um, Y'all know from the West Side. I got the little ghetto edge to me. I don't mind fight, you know, especially when I believe I can win. So I don't have a problem with it. And I started to just, I mean, go full speed in. And a friend of mine told me, no, don't do that. Go watch the video for yourself first. And I thought, okay, yes, let me use a little wisdom. And I sat down that night and I watched the video. And I heard this man talking about me in emphatic language he said on several occasions first he said alleged same say just same gender loving and every time after that it was she is she is i'm gonna prove it to you in a minute i could not understand it because i'm thinking why is larry reed talking about me i don't have any interactions with him so let me tell you about my interactions with larry reed <laughs> on January the 20th, maybe the 21st of this year, 2020, Larry Reed contacted me via Facebook inbox. And he said, hey, Linda Jernigan, I want to talk to you about your book. That's what he said. Now, on his Facebook Live, Larry Reed said he heard of me and he heard of my book, but he haven't read it. My question to Larry Reed is, if you haven't read my book, why in the world you wanted, you contacted me so that you could talk to me about my book in your own words, you said in a text, in the inbox, you want us to talk off the record. That's what you said. What kind of conversation are we going to have if you haven't read the book? That makes no sense, sir. That makes no sense. So January the 21st, he contacted me. He wanted to talk to me about my book. The next interaction I had from Larry Reed after January 21st, we had no more communication, no more contact. That was it. That interaction, January the 20th and January the 21st. September the 7th is the next time that I heard about Larry Reed when he brings my book into his Facebook Live. Again, I don't know why, because why are you talking about my book and you haven't read it? <laughs> but you won't talk to me about my book. But how are you going to talk to me about my book if you haven't read my book? What are we going to talk about? It ain't going to be no conversation because you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, this is getting fun to me already. So September the 8th, you know, Larry Reed get on Facebook again on his post, and he reads my Facebook post about departure dots. Departure darts, I'm sorry. <laughs> and in my Facebook post on departure darts, I was saying, hey, listen, when people leave an establishment, a ministry, an organization that they have been committed to and dedicated to, and in some cases they help build these places, and you start seeing these pillars leaving, before you open up your mouth and make a post and drag these people, you need to be silent. Don't you post nothing, don't you say nothing, and wait it out. You need to wait to see, because it may be some things that they know that you don't know. And maybe you don't know because you wasn't behind the scenes as a leader. But what has been the pattern and the habit of church folks, not Christians, not kingdom-minded people, but church people, the first thing you all want to do is to start dragging, slandering, defaming, intimidating, criticizing, trying to oppress people, make them small, make sure don't nobody like them. This is how you respond. So my post was in direct relationship telling those people who don't know because you're not in position to say nothing. I said, you all need to be silent. Larry Reed said, she not being silent. Listen, I almost called him sir. I don't want to call him a sir because y'all know what I called him. I'm going to tell you again what I called him in a little bit. <laughs> Listen, I know people, I know we're more intellectual than this. You can read my post and you clearly see the target audience that I am addressing. So Larry Reed says, Linda Jernigan is not being silent. She's not being silent. So I'm not supposed to be silent. I'm not the one that's dragging and dogging people who leave establishments. I'm not the one who's doing that. And then Larry Reed offered me an invitation that I so gladly obliged him on. I believe it was in minute 52 that he begins to beckon me to come and talk. He said, tell the people why you left Anwa. Surely, <laughs> I believe the people at Anwa began to cringe because the last thing they wanted me to do, someone with a valid history and credibility who has been living above reproach before I got to Anwa and all while I was at Anwa and since I left Anwa. They have wanted me to be silent, to stay silent, to stay in a cave on the hole somewhere. Please do not tell the people why you left. Larry Reed, you didn't help them. You did not help their cause. Whoever sent you, if someone sent you, I'm uncertain, but I'm thinking, that's my opinion, that maybe someone sent you out there to say this. And they sent you, man, on a suicide mission because they know doggone well the things that you said was untrue. They sent you to say that. They didn't say it. They have never said it because they know the truth. But someone gassed you up <laughs> in your defense of Dr. Stevenson and all of the rumors that it is rumored that he's involved in. Your way to defend him was to put my name with a pack of lies in your mouth. And then not just lies, Mr. Larry Reed, that has risen to the level of defamation and slander, which is liable. And you will see me in court. This is a promise. I told you, I'm from the West Side. We don't do that type of stuff. I'm going to fight you tooth and nail until you retract what you said in a legitimate way, not some half-baked apology. Don't try to apologize, but don't mention my name. No, no, that ain't how you did it. You said Linda Journey, let me tell you, she's up in the yay, she's up in the yay, she's same gender love, and now you wanna come in my inbox like Nicodemus at night, talking about, oh, I misspoke. That wasn't no misspeaking, sir. That was deliberate defamation and slander, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, yes, you are. You're gonna give me an apology, an open apology where you retracted all using my first and last name the way that you did, and you're gonna write 
write me a check. This is not going away with an apology. A check and an apology will make this go away. Okay, let me get back to it. In, in minute number 53, Larry Reed said, One of his most famous sayings, and it is so true. After now, I'm sitting over here doing my live. Do y'all agree with him? Does anybody agree with him? Maybe put it in the chat. Do you think there is an issue with dark complected people? you know not liking like skin you know we have that issue it, it does go on even in the black community but um yeah what do you think what do you think oh went on somewhere in oakland you know took a trip down to horn barbecue or everett and jones or you know somewhere look at this Look at this ape. Look at this orangutan. Look at this orangutan. You ought to be ashamed. Your mama and your grandma ought to be ashamed that they responsible for you sitting up here looking worse than homemade sin. Looking like something that was made in some kind of test tube or some kind of factory, some kind of Frankenstein gone bad, a science project that got messed up. That's what you, that's what you look like. A big beached whale that don't nobody want. That's what you look like. Mad, mad at, at the world because we don't, because we don't look like you. Mad. You mad. <laughs> you mad. <laughs> She really, really loves pink. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. She loves. This morning. Yes, 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 yes. This Larry reprobate uh, read. You know what he said? And it was so heretical and it was erroneous. You know, the Bible said, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable. In thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Some things that said, it is absolutely result of flesh full blown. Flesh has taken over this man and he's duplicitous. He is amphibious. He's trying to enjoy the thrill of the world and benefit from his faith. And I want to say this, that God has blinded the eyes of all sissies. They are blind. You remember when in Genesis, when the angels came down and, oh my God, and Lot offered, offered his daughters to these homosexuals. They didn't want the daughters. They wanted the men. And they blinded them. And they still was reaching for the men. So that means all sissies are blind. And this, this Larry Reed, He's effeminate. He talks like an old woman on the porch, gossiping, tabloidish. But I don't. I don't have a tabloid.
often, and he is obnoxious. He named himself. Now what, what nut would name themselves obnoxious? Here's another meaning. Very unpleasant or rude very unpleasant or rude, very unpleasant or offensive. I'm offended when I see this man walking around the convocation with a woman's hat on and he should be rebuked. And every time I see him, I'm gonna find something to say about him. I'm going to trouble him. Now, he can say what he wants. He spent two hours talking about me, but I don't care what you say about me. I ain't no sissy. All right? I am a man. And I got a, I got a picture of him in the arms of another man. Yes, like he's married. So, I mean, he's been having sex with men and you become one with that man if you join yourself to integrity so from where this is coming from i don't know so please inform me okay. please inform me number one it's opinion you're viral my job is to talk about what is viral. I did you a favor. No, I don't need no favors from you, Larry. My, but my question to you, you is, you, Larry, you do talk. Though. You Larry, me talk. excuse me? You do. Ma'am, I don't even know you, ma'am. All right? But so you can just stay out of this one. I don't but even know you. All right? I don't even know you. You, you, you're you trying to include yourself into this. Help. You need to go and get some weight loss if you want to get, if you want, if you want to get, if you want to get, sir, yes, yeah, so sir. Late. If you want to see okay. and laugh about what happened in my okay. church when we got armed robbed, you're fat. That's what you are. You're okay. a fat slob. I don't know you. Okay. All right. We okay. can really get, okay. we can really get like so, this. All right. You're not so going to laugh at the okay. situation so you, where a gun okay. was pointed we at my dude. Where a gun was pointed at, I listened to it. I listen to it, all right? No, no, I listen no. to it. But I listen to it. So I don't even I know you. Number you one, I don't know you. I don't know. Don't give me no props and laugh at me I at the did, same time. Don't give I me did. no props okay, and laugh so at me at the same time. Go there, yeah, let's go there. Let's go there. go there. Let's go there. Let's go there, Biggie. Let's go there, Biggie. Let's go there, Biggie. You're a liar. You're a liar. Yeah, I'm a liar. Let's go. How? How am I lying, Biggie? Two, Biggie big, not Biggie Smalls, but you're Biggie media, big. You are quote unquote All right. bishop in the Lord's church. That's right. You have uh -huh. seen my face on your timeline before, uh -huh. and if you say you have it, you're a liar. Number I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. I do not know you. I do not know you. But at the end of the day, when you come here and try to talk about me, and I don't know. I don't know you at all. And at the end of the day, when I come on and I'm listening and I'm seeing you laughing at me, I'm sitting here, I'm laughing, you laughing at me. I don't even know you. And then Larry, see, you want to talk problem. about, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And Larry, you want to sit here and talk about, hold on, hold on, Larry. And you want to sit here, you want to sit here and talk about that I spoke about homosexuality. Hold on, hold on, hold on, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Hold on one second, hold on one second. Nobody wants to talk to you, Biggie. Nobody and wants to talk to you, Biggie. You don't have any respect right? for women. No, no, no. And don't talk about women now. Don't talk about women. Because because y'all laugh. Y'all laugh when the, two, when when we when the Larry said we about the gun and my daughter face, y'all laugh. Y'all laugh. Y'all laugh. That's no. what you did. That's the truth. Y'all laugh. That's no. what you did. And you want to say it to about if that's really true. That's what you said, Larry. And y'all laugh. And what you did was, and what you did was you laid on your carpet. You laid on your carpet and pre pretended to be me. You're disrespectful, okay? You're disrespectful. This man and at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Larry, at the end of the day, Larry, at the end of the day, I respected you. And you, you want to talk about the, uh, the, 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 the LBGT community? We had a conversation. We had a conversation. And my position was. Coming, the ghetto in me picked up a brick. I said, C come on. 
Come on down here. So I had the brick behind me like this. And I got in my ghetto posture. So the closer he got, he started looking and he saw the brick. By the time he got about from where there to that pole is, he said, Juanita, I said, Wesley, I will knock your head. When he saw the brick, he said, put that brick down, girl. I'm gonna call your daddy. I'm gonna call your daddy right now. You better put that brick down. You better not hit me with no brick. Before we get friends, we have to do an interview. How long have you been broke? How many times have you changed your name on your light bill? <laughs> How many of your bills in your little cousin's name? <laughs> do you live in a trailer home or a house? You know, you understand. And it's not about status or material things. It's just about choices. You know, life is different now. And you know, we are at church, thank God we're here. Those of us who are walking by faith without a mask and no vaccine. And so we, we honor the Lord. God is good. I respect all of the men of God here and respect you. Can y'all clap so I don't feel strange right about now? Hopefully we'll get a chance to meet each other when y'all invite me to come to your church. I'm not as expensive as I seem. Um, and so, I don't know, maybe you got a little left over from your PPP loan. <laughs> Prayer, praise, and power. You understand. Amen. Isn't the Lord great? Amen. Amen. And so, you know, I, I like coming here because the ground is already tilled with great personality like Dr. Karn. Because one thing I love about him, he's deep in the word, but he knows how to have great humanity. And most don't understand his personality because he is truth personified. And he tells the type of truth that makes most uncomfortable. Because who likes to be told, you're just ugly. No one likes to be told that. You know, especially when they have realized it. All right. Most don't get offended until they know the bad thing about themselves. And then somebody else recognizes and says, oh, I saw the ugly too. I just want to let you know. So anyway, y'all get that later. God is great. All of you are beautiful. I haven't chosen anyone to be ugly yet. God is good. God is great. Y'all look great. Most of you have on hats covering most of that anyway. Here's to you. Uh, <laughs> I have a great personality. Okay, I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. Powerball. Oh, how si. I got the powerball. His name is Jesus. Ely be old si. And I don't got to go to no powerball. Y'all Christian to come into the prophet asking him for numbers to go play the lotto. You going to hell. Every one of you. Every one of you. We don't play no powerball. Let me deal with that devil. Saints playing by. We don't do that. We say, money coming to me now. That's what we do. Ah! Shut up. We call our increase. We don't do no power ball. What's wrong with the church? Don't ask me. Somebody come here and tell me what's the number for the power ball. You crazy? I, I ain't giving you nothing for no power ball. God ain't talking about no power ball. God got a million ways to bless you. He don't need the power ball to bless you. Ah! la man de oro mo He know how to make folk bless you. There you are, ba 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 sandala bahaya. I make folk bless you that don't even like you. I prepare a table in the presence of shata in the presence of your enemies. So speak to your money. Money coming to me now. Come on, right where, where you at? Right now. Right now. Call your money. Call your the money. The Holy Ghost has given me my release to address it. But he told me not to do it until the 48 hours of prayer. Let me tell you, I will address this attack 
from the pit of hell. Every liar, you gonna burn. God gonna deal with you. Every person who has spoken, I'm going to address this in the Holy Ghost. You people that support me, believe in the anointing, the ministry, and the man upon my life, I'm going to tell you this very clearly. And I'll go into detail in Houston. I ain't never had to follow no witch. Witches follow me. I ain't never had to follow no witch. I'll make it very clear. I will address this in Houston, Texas, under the anointing of the Holy Ghost at the 48 hours of prayer. But I'm going to tell you very clearly, it's an attack from the pit of hell to distract the body of Christ from the shift that's about to take me because I done came after your tree I'm used to seeing some of y'all shout but I'm going to tell you ho 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 is a lie and you're going to hell what ho 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 is a lie and you're going to hell you to keep the same chord struck don't get fancy my nerves is bad i don't like it that's my god can i do what is he doing there's nothing sinless but perfect means you are mature so you sin to him Sin would have never come into the world. Sin came into the world because Adam broke the order. We were not designed to receive from women. Your self-esteem is compromised when you have to ask your wife for lunch money. I'm not saying you got to be rich. I'm not saying you got to be uh, famous. I'm saying that you have got to be the one who pours in, not the one who takes out. When Adam started eating out of his wife's hand, sin came in because the divine order was broken. This breaks all sociological order that the culture we're living in now. Because we are raising up women to be men. And you are not applauded for your femininity. You are applauded in the contemporary society by how tough, rough, nasty, mean, aggressive, hateful, possessive you are. And you are climbing the corporate ladder, but we are losing our families. I know you can buy your own car. I know you can buy your own house. But until you create a need that I can pour into, I it to me, I was caught off guard because one, I've never heard this story before. Right. Now I know Kyrie said it's been out here three years. I'm like, okay. And I was telling everybody in the comments, okay, I get that, y'all. And it was a lot of people that sent me the link. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, okay, y'all, I've never heard this before. It's new to but, me. 
It's old to y'all. It's new to me. It's old to y'all. So, I'm so you, old. okay? So are you expecting? Are you expecting her to just be broadcasting something that no, dramatic? No, 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 then, no. Okay, so then what? So are you? Uh, so that's what I'm trying to figure Again, out. Like, okay, London, it's new to me. Oh, London, where the hell you knew about this? <laughs> because first, first of all, God damn it. Don't first be sitting up here on this goddamn show trying to act like you just knew what the fuck was going on. Bitch, your name ain't motherfucking Kyrie. I'm sorry, sir. Could you open your eyes while you talk to me? Did you see me, ho? We do. <laughs> That's okay. So to answer your question, no, I didn't know it, but I wasn't gung ho ahead over heels. Like, oh my god, like I just I wouldn't I like. Oh my god, either. Yes, she was. Because the you first thing you said on live was the niece was you, right. That's Talking about Denise was right. I said what I said, God damn it. What you like, say, said? I, I, said, said right. I said, look, I said, Karen said she lost her baby. Maybe this is what Denise was talking about. Maybe she was right. And if she was, that was a cut because that's not losing. A, that's not the same. Because no, Denise said, at least I kept all my kids. That's what she said. Okay, so, so tag team, John. Tag team. Here we go. Here we go, tag team. So here's the deal. I had never heard. I had never heard about the story. And, and, and first of all, just because six million people heard something, that don't mean the other 330 million people in the world or in America heard something. Okay. Jive's intent was not to come on and talk about women's reproductive health, make fun of uh, 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 abortions or whatever, you know, stillborns. That was not no one's inten intention. The intention was because they, they're they so private when it comes to anything outside of motherfucking Denise, and they keep everything so contained when it comes to anybody outside of Denise. It was actually shocking to a lot of people that did not know the story. I didn't know the story, okay? I don't really follow Kiera like that. I don't follow Karen like that. So I didn't know what had happened with her baby. I would never make light of something like that. But people always talk about Denise being a hoe and Denise running around and doing all this. But the fact of the matter is, is that Denise's shit has just always been on front street. Let's talk about all the shit that they have gotten away with that's never made it to the blogs and never made it to magazines and never made it to these shows, okay? Well, There's a lot of shit. They lie so motherfucking much and they switch their stories up so motherfucking much, it's hard to damn keep track sometimes with the shit they say. What is she, what, what, what is she lying like about? When Karen, like when Karen was at the Potter's house, talking about, first she said she had a hernia. Then she said something else. No, girl, didn't. make up your mind what the story is. No, it's not that nobody. It's what? not that nobody gives a fuck. It's not that you know we don't give a fuck about your your, your, your hospitalization, okay? But keep it a buck, cause y'all keep it and y'all get real salty when it comes to Denise. First of all, I didn't interrupt neither one of y'all when y'all gave y'all dissertations, okay? I, I, I raised my hand. I didn't interrupt. I didn't I interrupt raised neither my one hand. of y'all. I, I didn't interrupt hand. neither one of y'all. That's why they're so distracted by my shirt and jeans because you ain't giving them none. You need to take care of them. I'm out here now. I feel the anointing. It's a dangerous thing to have an unkept woman. If you take care of your woman, you wouldn't be worried about what I got on. She's thirsty. Feed that lady. Make sure her appetite is... I'm talking to your ugly self. Make sure her appetite is quenched. You a single woman? You talking about all the men being feminine? You not gonna convert it with your belly like that. Get your tail ready for me. I'm, I don't care. Get ready for marriage. If you was their last option, no wonder they going to men. Align yourself. Get your makeup together. Take your grandmama's hair off. You ain't ready for marriage. Hallelujah! You ain't ready! Where would you be? If your mama told the truth, where would you be if your daddy told the truth? Now that's not just to the young, that's to the young and the old. We are living in cycles of dysfunction because church people make us lie about where we are. I'm blessed, I'm getting the victory. No, I'm mad. I don't
don't want to be here. I want this to hurry up so I go to the liquor store. Listen, if you can tell the truth, we can grab your head and deal with your truth because it's the truth that sets you free. Good on y'all. God bless you. We kill our leaders. Dishonor killed Dr. King. Dishonor killed Bishop Long. Dishonor. It's a shame that the longest, oldest leader we know is Billy Graham. If we open it up, it's going to ooze. And if we open it up, it's going to leak. And if we open it up, it's going to smell. And we open it up, it's going to hurt. But if we don't open it up, if we don't open it up, it won't get better. It won't get better. It'll just stay bitter. And if it stays bitter, it won't get better. It'll stay bitter. It'll stay bitter and resentful and angry because nobody told you it was going to be like this. And I don't even want to open this up in public because I know how deep it is. But the company if you have a um if you have a company let me know hey bishop hey how you doing good how are you you don't remember we got cut off but i was oh right 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 how you doing good so i was telling you that i work for my bishop here in atlanta i won't say the name of the church but he's older than you and he's a fly yeah you told, you told us that yeah you told us that how you want to add on what you want to add on to that well, I just wanted to add on that I think, you know, I think everything you're doing, I think it's beautiful. And I think it's bringing in like the younger generation because people can relate to fashion and how you dress. And I think with the lifestyle just comes so much, you know, hate and everything. But I just personally love you. All my people here in Atlanta, like we love you. My whole crew knows about you through me. So right, right, I was right. just praising you yesterday. I don't want to get into too much because I had people on here calling me groupies and stuff and inboxing me. Don't don't after worry about I that. Got off. Don't worry about that. One thing about it, it's okay to, you know, it's okay to compliment a person. I was very respectful, and I just think you're fly. You know, I love all your outfits that you wear, and what I do down here in Atlanta, um, I have Airbnb properties, so. I'm not a realtor, but I just started my own thing a long time ago with some of my personal properties. And so now I have well, what's, your, what, what's, your, what's your what's your website? Put your website up. What's your website? Well, I don't really like to put mine really oh, on. Oh, okay, Instagram. cool, cool. I don't know how you I don't know how you get business, but I I, I just I just want to help people out. Well, I do it. What I do, I do it through the Airbnb. Like I'm on their site, on the Airbnb site. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, man. And um, Okay, thank I, you. Be, and then I, when I did it too. I did talk because I'm the church, my church secretary. So I would like to talk to you, you know, or have someone to talk to you, my bishop, about coming here because he would love for you to come to our church and we would love that. So yeah, I'm oh, definitely oh, trying to, to put that together with e your e assistant. Yeah, email the email the church info at L O T I M dot org. Okay. Okay. Yep. Will. Info, Thank you. Yep. God bless you. Okay. Right, bye bye. All right. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. That was amazing. All right, y'all. Look, I'm gonna put somebody up here that um, I want to put somebody up here that has a company. Who has a company that they? I seen somebody. A, a young lady said she has a trucking company. That was dope. I want to help people. Let me see if I could put this young lady. She said Amy Quinton's Trucking LLC. Um, and I seen a guy that said he had an auto company. Uh. I want to help out right, here. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Now, listen, y'all. I don't know these people. So if you guys do business with them, y'all do it on your own. I just want to give somebody a platform to promote what they got going on. The bishop. I want to give somebody a platform. Bishop, focus on the people that love you rather than the people that. How are you? Hi, Bishop. How are you? I'm doing good. How's everything? 
I'm great. Yeah, so you, you have an auto? Uh, uh, I do. Yeah. I own and operate my own car dealership. I do. Dope. Dope, dope. Yes. Tell everybody, I'm going to give this platform for people. I see a girl so, said you got a candle company. All right, make sure uh, you, you keep, I'm, I'm going to pull you up there too. But um, tell us about your uh, your auto company. So so my car dealership, I don't operate as your typical car dealership. It's almost like um, I'm a broker. You tell me what you're looking for, <laughs> and I go and find it exactly. Even if I have to go into uh, Mercedes to find it, I'll get it, and I'll get the best prices. Yeah. So I don't keep a lot of vehicles. And my thing is, when I came into the car dealership world back in 2008, um, I told my husband that I didn't want to do it like everybody else. Because when you see a lot of cars on a lot, those, car had, those cars has no customers. So every vehicle that I sell is actually a... So yeah, you we, call, we, we, you bro. order your vehicle. So if you call, you order your vehicle. You tell me exactly what you're looking for, and I make it happen. So, so what's your what's your what's your website? So actually, you could just reach out to me on on uh, IG. All right, cool. So they got your IG yeah. right now. Put it up. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate I, I, that, Pastor. Yeah, I have I have a bunch of people that do cars too. I, I help people with that as well. So yeah, okay. I'm just gonna help everybody out. All right, thank you so much. All right, thank you. No problem. All right, bye-bye. Where, where's the girl with the candles, y'all? The candles. Where the girl with the candles at? Let me see what time. Two twenty-five. I'm about to get off, y'all. And yeah, yeah. With yeah, if um, yeah, I also have um, a few partners of mine that deal with cars too. So if you're looking for to get a new car for the winter, for the holidays, um, you can also uh, email real estate at lotim dot org. That's realestate at lotim.org. If you're looking for a car, I know a bunch of car dealerships, um, the owners, y'all. So, and then that young lady too. So, if you want her, so I could definitely connect y'all. Somebody says she sells women fashion. This whole thing just took a spin. I'm just, I'm just, I just like helping people. Hold on. Where's the girl with the candles? Come on, come back up here. So if you want a, if you want a new car, you could definitely um, either hit that young well, you know, email real estate at lotim dot org, right? And um, and let me know, send your your name, address, telephone number, what kind of car, and I'll call the owner myself and have them work on your thing. Amen, amen, amen. All right, where's the girl with the candles? Where the girl with the candles? Hold on, where the girl with the candles? Did I miss her again? I think I messed up, missed her again. Where's the girl with the candles? Where's the girl with the candles? I'm gonna help her out and then I'm done, y'all. Then I'm done. On to my next meeting. Did she come up already? Damn, Mister. Oh, she says. I'm right here. All right, hold on. Boom. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. One second. One second. Oh, uh, shit, I'm here. <clears throat> Let her from the fashion girl. Let's hear from the, oh, where's the fashion girl? I don't know where she at. Tell her come back up here. I'm not saving this live, y'all, because it's too long. She could, the fashion girl, come back up, come back on so I can, um, uh -oh, I hope my Instagram, sometimes these, 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 what's the names stop. Okay, so the girl with the candles, I guess it declined it, so I don't know. Well, listen, y'all, because Instagram, I don't see no more Texas. So I don't, sometimes the stuff be stopping like that. I don't know. Who's the fashion girl? Let me see fashion. Let me see if I can find her. Yeah, but fashion, fashion. She says she's fashion. Hold on a second. I do. 
and I am spa. Is that that's not fashion? Though. Hold on, I'm trying to look for the girl because my all my comments stop on Facebook, y'all. So I can't see y'all. Let me block him. He says something's dumb. I think this is her right here. The lady girl with the boutique. Let's see if that's her. Hey. Where you at? I hear your voice. I don't see I know. Wait a minute. I'm trying to. I'm right here. How you oh, doing? There you go. All right now. What's going on? Not much. You know, I love you and your wife. I am a champion. Oh, <laughs> yes, right. I am. Yes. And my name is Caroline Payton. I am Nisi's um, online boutique. Uh, I'm located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I am actually in my showroom. I have an online business. Oh, and I go live sometimes selling my women's fashion. So as you see, I have leather vests in the background. I have jeans. I have faux leather. Um, I sell jewelry. Let me see. Let me see, Let me see my little jewelry section right here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I look, I sell furs. I got I sell furs. Here, here go some of my fur, fur pieces and stuff. So I just, you know, I like to um I used to go around to the different hair salons then the pandemic hit and when the pandemic hit i had already started creating the space so that i can do online so that kind of like catapulted me to go ahead and start my online business so i actually just got started last year but god has been good to me he's been blessing me and i really thank you for i'm um, actually um we, you know, accepting me to come on live to promote my business. I appreciate that. Look, right now, y'all follow me. Right now, I have a sale uh, going on. It's going to start tomorrow. And I'm going to be selling off my uh, my rancher hats. My, and they're suede, uh, ultra suede, and vegan suede. And you'll get 20% off. And I have, look, I have a whole, uh, see how here go my hats. And at the sale starts tomorrow. It starts so, so, at twelve o'clock midnight. So, 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 so yeah. how do they how do they get in contact with you? Well, my um, I'm online. Um, what, my website how? is www.nieces.com. www.n-e-i-c-e-y-s.com, and um, my website is linked to my Instagram. Boom! There you go. So, yo, look. Yes. Man. I, I just, yep. I like, so listen, I like. look, I got all the handbags. I got, I got nice vegan handbags. They're like butter leather, and I sell jewelry, and I have cakes with Foxworth collars, and I just, you know, I just have a little bit of everything. Dope. Yeah. So, I, like Dope. I said, I appreciate you even accepting me um, on the live to be able to promote my business. All right. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, and uh, I'm gonna be doing this a lot. I'm gonna try to do this like once or twice a week, man. Just helping uh, businesses, man. It doesn't matter if you black, brown, Chinese, right. Asian, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, um, um, I'm going to definitely help you guys if I can, whatever I can do. So y'all go and that. support her, man. Y'all support her, support her. All right, so because I, yeah, I got everything. It's not like you order something and you gotta wait for it to come. I got anything you see on my website. I have in house. There you yep. go. That's it's right. The holidays is coming. The holidays is coming. Let's go. Yes, that's right. And I'm gonna have sales every weekend. So y'all make sure y'all follow me. I appreciate. Also, Kings Plaza. Well, Flatbush going towards Sheepshead Bay. Yeah. Yes, Same and we. So we do everything from installs, nails. Um, we sell wigs. We do lashes. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know. I got my holiday wigs coming out, right? Your holiday what? Wigs. Your holiday wigs. Yeah. What's your holiday wigs? So, so I got this one coming out. I'm just waiting for the insurance to clear. So it's one where you, when you say, you say, you can say, praise the Lord, mm -hmm. and it lights up. Well, the ones that I got, is, um, they come from the scalp. <laughs> they melt from the scalp. Because right, people I'm, melt here. You got to make sure, like, you listen, know, you know, I'm sure listen. you've seen some bad wigs. Like, you got to make sure it's melted from the scalp. Hold on, you hold on. Oh, first, let me just say that I was only joking, all right? So, listen, I, I don't want to have, I don't want to have a, I don't <laughs> 
I don't want to have a wig dispute, all right? Yeah, that, my kids know I'm always. <laughs> well, matter of fact, we're actually close to each other because I'm not too far from on Ralph's side, so. All right, so give everybody, give everybody your, um, your, your information. Okay, so um, it's called Glam Up Luxury Beauty Spa, and we're located on 2155 Utica Avenue. Um, and we will slay you like we get you together. And matter of fact, we have on the same shoes. I didn't wear my hat, but we got on the same wear because I get fly too. You're not okay. the only person. All right, now. All right. All right. Fin finish promoting your business now. Go ahead. <laughs> Promote your business. We ain't talking about me. I'm trying to get y'all no, a platform. I everything. We do from nails, waxing, facials, hair, makeup, nails, everything. Okay. All right. All right. So listen, what's the address again? 2155 Utica Avenue. <laughs> and I see um I see your wife in here. She's 21. actually somebody I always talk to too. So before I even opened my shop, she was the one that actually prayed with me as well. So Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. My wife up. <laughs> All right. Me age of champion. <laughs> the champions is coming for you, Bishop. You gotta know the VOC is on here too. So you gotta big them up too. I ain't gotta big nobody up on my yes, page. Yes, you do. Don't let, don't tell let me. me. I, I ain't gotta don't big me, no. You don't listen. Don't let me contact your wife, Bishop. Don't do that. Cause you want me give you your number? You want, want, me, you too. want me give you her number? Don't worry. <laughs> I, I have my own connection with her. I don't need your connection to get to her. All right. Listen, I gotta put more people up to promote their no business. No problem. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. Uh, boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you. Woo! Try to get my opportunity. All right, who else, y'all? Who else? Where's Where's my wife at? They said she up here. Say something so you can promote your business. Say something so you can promote your business. Where's she at? Where is she? Where you at? Yes, sir, she was up here. Yeah. Yoo-hoo! Well, she's going to be my last one, y'all, because I got to get out this car. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, yeah. Hey, where you at? Come on, you gotta do prayer. Come on, what's up? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Please, please, please. Bye -bye. please. This is what's going on. Bye -bye. Hey. Hi, Daddy. We are, Bye -bye. We are. Hi, Daddy. Boo. <laughs> hey. <laughs> everybody, Goodbye. everybody's saying you in trouble. What you, what, what are you up to? I ain't, I, I ain't in trouble. <laughs> they crazy. They smoking weed. Yo, bye bye. <laughs> I'm a grown man, I don't get in trouble. Oh, all right. What's you, what's wrong? With <laughs> oh yeah, I Facebook want to see my baby. Who bop? Hey, who bop? Brooklyn, Brooklyn, hide the mamas. Yo, so promote your business, cause I'm cause I was having people come on promote their business. Promote your business. You know, you got your stuff going. Yeah, the you are a champion and And I'm gonna confront her. I'm a confronter. That's right. That's right. I'm a confronter. Because you wanna know why? Because they're gonna hear the truth. Because you're not going to make it seem like I'm the devil or I did something to you or or I'm just crazy and and you and you you just so a uh, victim I'm not doing that mm -mm. I'm not doing that why would you write Cynthia Cunningham that 
about me if I did nothing to you? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. You're more concerned about your image and people looking and people watching than you are about the stuff that you're saying and you're doing. I want to know why Cynthia Cunningham is telling you that we bind in words and we bind. What does she say? Read it. What does she say? Because she shouldn't be saying nothing. That's the point I'm making. And I said this from day one. She said, hey, daughter, is everything okay? Because, you're, because your husband deleted me from Facebook. And, and are we okay? Why is she asking, are we okay? That lady don't never write on my stuff. That lady don't never like nothing of mine. Cynthia Cunningham, you don't never write on my stuff. You don't never comment on my stuff. So why would you write Serafina and ask her, Cynthia Cunningham, what I said? Are we okay? Why is that your business? You want to know why? Because you changed your name on Facebook and you brought attention. No, 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 no. You changed your name on Facebook. You brought attention to us. And that's why people started writing you, asking you, are we okay? That's why I started deleting everybody. That's why I deactivated my page. Because I did not want Facebook drama. And you... Wrote Cynthia Cunningham that. You. And it's this Warren. Let's go with her. Why, when she writes you and send you a screenshot on why your name changed, you said, girl, he left me. I got an annulment. First of all, no. First of all, we ain't get no annulment. We ain't get no annulment. That's the first lie. Okay? Number two, why did I leave you? Because you stood up in my church and you tried to shame me about rebuking my people. And I told you, no, there's a difference between how you rebuke and the way you treat your people is not how I treat mine. And I got, do, you, do I need to read the conversation between you and Jenny? And how you talk to Jenny? And then you wonder why people do what they do and say what they say. And Jenny's a liar too, right? The same way she said in the text she messages. Yeah, but it's okay. She but she's a liar though, right? You always say she's lying. I spoke about you before. You always say she's lying. I'm, not, I'm talking about the part. I'm to, I don't care about no dolly. I don't care about no dolly. I have said things don't care about no That she has been privy to. Why? Because I've been upset. Why? I don't have a right to express Why are you saying it around people that you know are gossipers and they are not mature? Why? You do know. You do know. You no, know, you know about know. every single person this that is connected and around you. You do know. Okay. Okay. You do know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It is the platform. You want to know why? Because y'all are being told lies about me and folk have wrote stuff about me in her inbox. That is not That's true. not the truth. And I'm not going to let another woman walk in my life and shame me before church people. I'm not doing it. And that whole gay talk, let's go into the gay talk. When did you catch me in the bed with a man? When? Exactly. So why did you tell Tanisha that? Why did you tell Gil with that? Why did you tell Taki that? Why did you tell Sheila that? Why would you tell your sister that? Because you, why? Told it's you, all lies. You were told you what I, I know. said. I know. I did not say that to Tanisha. I know. I did not say that to Everybody's her. hearing it for yourself. I she did didn't say, say it. That. So when you hear lies that I, when you hear lies that I'm gay and you and, and, and I'm sleeping with men, when you hear those lies, y'all know, y'all hear it right now. Where you running to? Don't run. It's the truth. Let's go on down the line. Come on, I got more. Avery Cotton, another fact. You throw that water on my thing if you want to. Another fat fact. Don't do that. Don't do that. Another one. Another one. Another one. Avery Cotton. Stop, 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 stop. Avery Cotton. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you. Avery Cotton. Another one. Come on. Don't get mad. He speaks to you. And he converts with you as a mediator. Okay, who did he say something to? Okay, now say it so I can expose him. Say it so I can expose him. Don't walk away, Dolly. Say, hear what they say that you talk about me and you tell my business to people. So when this is over, Yearwood, I'm going to be calling you and I'm going to be cursing you out next. So now what? 
Now, now what's next? I know she didn't See, that's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah. Folk don't tell the truth until stuff like this happens. And what we do is, no, 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 no. What we do, when I ask you stuff like that, South Peter, you never tell me. You never tell me. You want to know why? Because, exactly, because you know I am going to confront. You know I'm going to confront people because folk got to shut their damn mouth. Stop gossiping. Stop lying. You come to my church, y'all get healed, y'all get delivered, demons get cast out of you, I prophesy accurately, and then folk run out of my church, and they run me down like nobody. I am not allowing it no more. So if I'm asking you, the person who I choose to love, who is against me, and you, you gonna cover those, you gonna cover the enemy? No, I'm not. You gonna cover the enemy? I know, I know. I know. This is not the way to do it. You wanna know why? This is the hurt way to do it. You wanna know why? This is not the way to do it. Exactly, this is the hurt way to do it. Because I'm hurt. Because the one who I love, it's doing this. How do I feel? How do I feel? Sharfina, explain what I read in your inboxes. You cannot explain it. You cannot get around it. Yes, I told you. I was mad and I was upset. And I went And that's what you say about me. That's what's in you concerning me. Because you mad. Because you mad. Avery Cotton. Told by Avery Cotton. I'm going to come back because of Wani the Bino. Fuck Wani the Bino. Time now. Yeah, stop. Time out. Stop, 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 stop. Take it off, take it off, take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Tell me about something. That's it. I'm coming back. Give up. Praise the Lord. Now, saints are online arguing for twerking. I'm listening to preachers argue and since Beyonce made church girls. I've, I've, I'm listening to preachers, preachers now, defending her and saying, yeah, where well, the girls in the church, they are screwing the deacon and they all having sex with the preacher and they all doing this and doing that. Now, maybe the girls that you know are doing that, but not everybody's doing that. Don't you tell me God is a keeper. No, nobody's ever claimed that, that we don't have folk who need to grow, folk who need to get delivered. Nobody said that there's not people who are hypocrites because there are. But the overwhelming majority are not. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, uh, saints, a section in the church where I would dare to say 99 to 100% of the girls aren't doing that. And that's our little 13-year-olds. 14 year olds, 12 year olds. Now, do we want them? Do we want these little girls who, who have not even come to age yet, preach wouldn't, do we want them girls to listen to a woman who is not saved, whose God is not the Lord, who is as indecent in her music as she can be? Do we want the our girl to be branded by her and nobody says anything i guess we need to give i guess we need to throw throw away our little uh, sunshine bank Let's give up all of the, the ministries we have in the church that teach piety and holiness to little girls at an early age. Let's throw it away if Beyonce is right. If they're all just church girls and they're all little thoughts and they're all twerking and they're all uh, living in sin like that, then, then, then so be it. You got saints. This We've watched uh, believers uh, online and elsewhere defend Beyonce. Now, let me say this to you about Beyonce. Beyonce is for whom Christ died. Jesus loves her just as much as Jesus loves you and me. I think she's a strikingly beautiful woman. Can sing up a storm, highly talented. But that ain't what I'm talking about. 
this ain't no beauty contest. We're talking about souls. We're talking about right. We're talking about wrong. You know, um, some guy said, you know, uh, you know, well, where did you get the idea that uh, she sold her soul to the devil? Well, her. Now, I, I could be wrong, but if you want to know where I got the idea, I got it from her. She's the one talking about performing and, and doing things, and she's summoning someone from the dead. And Shasha, uh, this, this thing takes over her. Sasha Fierce takes over. She said that. I didn't say it. She's the one who talks about levitating. Do you know how, you, how much power you got to have with Satan to levitate? Where, where did I get it from? I got it from her. There are a multitude of other things. I hope she has it. But, but I tell you what, there are things that she said so I'm taking my time because I don't I, when they play it or whatever I, I don't I don't want to leave room for misspoke and I don't want to leave room for you say for, for, you know, for, me, for me to misspeak and I don't want you to mishear Now, for those believers out there, I'm not going to judge anybody's heart, but for those believers out there who defend her, she wrote in her poem, Denial. She wrote this. Now, Denial is a poem that was written, she's trying to find out whether or not her lover, husband, whomever, I don't know, is cheating on her. And she said, but still inside me, coiled deep, was the need to know, are you cheating? Are you cheating on me? So, and I guess, the, I guess it was denied. So hence the name of the poem Denial, all right? She said this in the poem. I crossed myself in thought. I saw the devil. I grew thickened skin on my feet. I bathed in bleach and plugged my menses Menses monthly with the pages of the holy book. Now you you Christians out there who can defend someone who have said this, defend on. But I don't believe a regular woman, she don't have to be saved. I just don't believe a regular woman, uh, something like that would even cross your mind to do with the Bible. No regular, she ain't got to be no church mother. You don't have to be saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Don't have to be a missionary. Don't, you don't need to be capped. Amen. You don't need to be a prophetess or anything like that. Just regular. I don't believe that a ordinary woman void of the Holy Spirit. She got to be spirit filled. Just got her spirit. A regular person, regular woman would use the pages of the scripture for a tampon. Mm. 
Now y'all say leave her alone. Do you leave that alone? Oh, I command the spirit of peace to come. 